Okay, so this is the second part of my mixing henna tutorial. I'm just going to take off the cling film. And you can see that the dye has released. You can see these edges here are darker than the rest of the henna in the bowl. So we're going to add one teaspoon of turp oil. In this case I'm using kajaput. And then I'm going to mix the oil in to the henna paste. And as I mix it you can see that lovely elastic texture just releasing and becoming smoother. Any little bits of powder which hadn't mixed in with the lemon juice and now fully mixed in while the henna's been brewing. And then just scrape the henna back into the bowl and then recover with the cling film again pressing the cling film down onto the henna to keep it nice and airtight. I'm just going to use two pieces of cling film now. So there we go, that's going to now rest for another 24 hours and then we'll cone the henna up.